It was a Friday. I remember. The moon had a certain glow. The night too obscure. The wind too cold. I somehow found myself in a room full of people. The smell of cheap liquor and cigarettes. Amidst the crowd, my eyes were drawn to a figure by the bar top. Something that didn't belong in the lively setting and warm lights. That was the first time I saw her. She had a look in her eyes. I should have known. Another one of that, and you're gonna wish you had to start in the first place. Angela, by the way. Diana. So what's Diana doing all alone at a bar on a Friday night? I don't know, you wanna make a guess? I don't know. A broken heart? A dead goldfish, maybe? Or a man? And what does Angelo do on Friday nights when he's not busy interrogating many girls at bars? <laughs> hey, interrogating is a strong word. So is that whiskey you've been downing. I need some. Uh, can I get a bottle of water, please? <laughs> hey, if you're gonna be out here walking all night, you're gonna need this. Yes. Where are you headed anyway? Where the running takes me, I guess. We strolled along the quiet pavements with only street lights lighting our way. One after the other. Just like our footsteps, walking with no direction or destination in mind. Just words, laughter, and the sweet, peachy scent of her perfume. Hey, I want to take you somewhere. You never answered my question. What question? What were you really doing at the bar alone tonight? It was my dead goldfish. Haha, <laughs> real funny. No, seriously. Well, I was in a relationship that lasted long enough for me to believe that eternal love existed. Call me crazy, but believe me. I was in deep. His name's Devon. We met back in high school and since then we grew from being friends into something more. He had a heart so pure and a love so sincere. At least that's what I thought. There it was again. That look in her eyes. 
each word that she uttered only led to another closed door, and she was on the other side. Hey, knock knock. I have a bad feeling about this, but who's there? Theodore. Theodore who? Theodore was locked, that's why I knocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get you home before you embarrass yourself, <laughs> or even worse, me. <laughs> Right. I'm sorry. I, what was I, I have to go. My dear, I'll give you 60 seconds to disappear.
Dearest Devon, the wounds you gave me haven't healed, and I doubt they ever will. You were difficult to love, but I loved you anyway. Even though loving you meant waking up to the stench of cigarettes instead of morning coffee or my kisses being met with your fists instead of your lips. All of it went away when you said you loved me. And I'd like to believe that it was true. At least for a moment. I don't know what I've become. And I don't think there's any turning back now. Last night, I met someone who I thought could fill the void you used to occupy. He was good to me. But you see, you've shaped the space in a way only you could fit perfectly into. He was right for me, but he wasn't you. He had a look in his eyes that I used to see in yours. I should have known. <laughs>